What's up, everyone? <clears throat> Welcome to another Red Light Studios NBA 2K15 My GM Chicago Bulls episode with your host, none other than the Spartan M129 here, bringing you the second round of the NBA playoffs of 2015. We got to return to the main menu because it says update required. Whoopee. I'm so excited for that. But what I actually am really excited for is the playoffs. Because as you've been watching in the past episodes, we are doing really good, and I think we're going to roll right into um, the conference finals very easily. So, um, on that note, let's get down to business. Ryan, win in Miami in the third game. Here we go. Brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. So, we're going to try and take Welcome to 2K a third Sports. game we're in Miami. Pivotal. And we still lack Derrick Rose, but that's okay. Because we've beaten this team twice in a row. Um, and then we've beaten them three times in the regular season. So, I think we have a great chance here. Um, just letting you guys know, if I don't do that good in this game, I don't want to make excuses, but my hands are a little bit tired. I don't make funny jokes. I mean that because I've been doing a lot of heavy work today. Um, um, you know, shoveling stuff. I've been holding on to equipment and grappling on. So, um, don't be surprised if I really suck because I actually have calluses on my hands right now. So let's get into this. Let's go. Two zip right now in the series. No panic though yet. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on Miami. Look at the Heat. They need the boost here from the hometown fans. Trailing 2 0. It's critical for them to start to edge Ooh, back into the Oh, okay. Side. Yeah, tough start to this series, but you come home, you win one game. And that changes the momentum. And that has to be the focus oh. here tonight. Just win one game in your building. Yeah, it's basically do or die. There's no doubt about that. They can't be discouraged by the two losses. There's still plenty of time left in this series. The crowd isn't discouraged. We know that much. Just listen to them. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. So for Chicago right now. It's going to be a hard game to win, but still. Ariza out there with Taj Gibson. And there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Nash in at the one. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Here's Ariza. Second chance shot. There should have been a foul there, ref. But, you know, that's okay. You get paid much more by Miami to not make that call. Butler covering. The pass to Wade. That ball's in assist by Love. Offensively. Come on, let's get in this now. Come on. That drives them at any given time. Kick outside to Butler. He dishes it to Howard. Ariza outside. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. A three-pointer is right on target. Poor job defensively. Giving him such a clear look at that three-point shot. Let's go. And it's Wade in the corner. Back to Dragic. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials. I doubt he makes Jack both of these. Two. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. Oh my God, he's actually really good at free throws. Make sure it's a good one. They did preventing the and one, and that one goes in two from the line that time. No Shaquille O'Neal here. Gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Nash the pass to Howard. Back to Nash. Dishes to Butler. Let's the three fly. Here's Howard. Rebound by the oh my God! Play better. After losing on Saturday, well, we got to play better than loss. this. That was a fantastic game, Clark. They can be proud of the way they battled at least. I suppose, but Steve, it still was a really heartbreaking loss. I mean, you hate to lose in overtime, no matter how hard you played. It still leaves you very empty and disappointed when you come up short. For Chicago, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Butler kicks it over to Nash. Back to Butler. With the shot. And the wing jumper offline. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. And blocked off his leg. 
Oh, that's a terrible call. Wow. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Love goes in. That's good. Heads up play there, guys. On the assist. All right, we got to get some bench players in here. Where's Ray? Still Ray in here. Kevin, I was able to speak with Eric Spolster for a moment. He had the demeanor you might expect from a coach in his situation. Where's Stoddy? Here's Stoddy. After dropping the first two in hostile territory, he recognizes go. the task they have in front of them. He said, we didn't get it done on the road, and now we have to take care of business at home. Simple as that. Let's see how it plays, guys. And thanks for that story, Doris. Here's Dang, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Better G than that, Ariza. Come on. So far, so good for them at the offensive end here in the early going. Boy, the field goal percentage is fantastic. Exactly the kind of start they were hoping for. But well, if you're going to do that, Trevor, then, you know. Him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. Rogic against Nash. Outside Drogic. There's the dish to Whiteside. Back to Drogic. But he recovers. Where are you at, Drogic? Got blocked by freaking Steve Nash. Oh, dear. Wade's got his second bucket tonight. It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. And a new group in for the Heat. Anderson, he's checked in for Whiteside. Josh McRoberts comes in for Kevin Love. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Lou Aldang. And it's Napier in for Gordon Aye. Rogic. Chicago also making some changes. That three, though. checked in for Gibson. Pierce comes in for Trevor Ariza. All right, they got their, they got their second strings in, and our second strings are way better than that. Where you at, Shabazz? Where's the truth, though? We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. There's the truth right there, and we got a tied game. Let's go. Points off assist and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Now here's Wade. Oh, if we could capitalize off turnovers, I'd love it. 27 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Napier. Good. Oh, gee. Okay, Shabazz. Quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. Just having their way down low. Nash up on top. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Howard in the post. Two on the clock. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Bulls oh, what up? Free throws of the evening. Oh, the that's pretty gross right there. And he can't hit oh, the misses both? Oh, D. Wow. Wow, Dwight. I expected better from you, dude. joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Semis. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Backcourt, come on, get him. Get him in backcourt. Uh. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Oh, how you like them apples? Then it's Stoudemire. Then there's Miritich, and it's Pierce in at the four slot. The shot is off. Now Chicago has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Stoudemire. Oh, oh, oh we don't know how to finish. Like, dude, it's Here's just Nathan. not cool. Wade, left side. Thank you. It's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Oh, what up, Dunleavy? Three, Dunleavy. That drops. Dunleavy's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Bulls. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot, and it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointer. And the wide-open shot from Chalmers. Miami no good on that time either. Got that post game on fleet. Oh, where you at, McRoberts? Oh, oh, there. Well, there's McRoberts. There you are. Okay, McRoberts, I see you. All right. 
We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Josh McRoberts, you won't take, you won't bang that three out right there. From the line, connects the jumper drops. Oh, we gotta stop D Wade. Let's take it in on D Wade, shall we? Come on, Ray. Chicago take this shit in on D Wade. Allen dishes to Pierce. Kicks it to Miritich. Oh, D Wade's guarding Miritich, huh? Drops in the layup Bang. two. Shot to block in the post. The defender Nikola Miritic. So much size, there's no way he's going to get a hand on him. Yeah, the heat a little scared. And a new group in for the heat. Whiteside's checked in for Anderson. Love comes in for Josh McRoberts. Who all dang is checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Drogic in for Mario Chalmers. Chicago also making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Stoudemire. Smith comes in for Pierce. And it's Butler in for Ray Allen. Now here's Love. Love, where are you at, though? Rebound by Butler. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Got that bucket in and no yes, time at all. Yes, Miritich, yes. And now a four-point Bulls lead. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. Now here's Butler after the miss from Goran Dragic. Oh, what up, Cruz? Butler passes to Dunleavy. Oh, what up, Cruz? The kick outside to Butler. Oh, oh what, what, was what was that? What was that? Come on. Play better now, defense or uh, play better basketball than that. Christ. High percentage shots in the playoffs. You look at Miritich, leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Jimmy Butler. He shows up in that same conversation. Well, these two guys Josh Smith, you better play some good-ass D right here. They've had excellent playoff runs so far. The crowds get louder, and on every shot, it's got to be hard to maintain your concentration, but these guys find Thank a way you. to do it. Thank you, Josh four. Smith, for that board. Let's go, Cruz. Oh, what up, Cruz? Right what up, Cruz? This is where you just start picking apart the defense, and, and now you take their confidence away. You can really take control of this game. Here's Napier. The Bulls knocking down the three. To end the run, and he lays it up. And Gosh in. damn it, Shabazz Napier. Napier's got his second bucket of the game. You, dude. I, don't know I hate Napier. He used to be good at UConn. Not anymore, dude. He sucks just because I said he's bad. Where you at, Napier? Outside Butler. There's the three. Goes back up. Yes, Dwight Howard. What you say? Oh, what you say? Oh, what you wanna say? Now let's get let's get a miss here and then get a, a, a ten point game, shall we? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh no. Yeah, that's right, Kevin Love. You stay cold, buddy. Chicago, they've gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Smith wide open. He fires. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. You know, with the time left, they can't trade two for one here. Oh, yeah, yo, that was a nice cherry pick. I love it. I love it. Good, good sportsmanship, Miami. What up, Cruz? What up? Oh, my God. And here we go. Josh Smith, you better play some good D. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Little old dang. Nice free throw. Nice free throw, Little old dang. Bang. Okay. All right. Still, we 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 got we got we got it here. We got this. It's Nash with the drive. The yeah, ball. that's right, Napier. We're going to gonna take it to the, the crib now, boy. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one what up, Cruz? That free throw is too good, though. Both free throws Bang. are good from Nash. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Love with the screen for Dang. Right side dishes to Dang. Heat moving the ball around. Love the pass to Dang. Six on the shot clock. Here's Napier. Out left to the wing. There's Dragic with the three. And he gets oh it. Oh my go. God. Jesus Christ. Dragic, he's such an ugly. Right it's tipped. It's stolen by Dragic. 
Yeah, Drogic, you can suck it, dude. Like, for real. Dude, this guy, Drogic. This guy, this, look at this guy over here. Christ. Still got that lead at half, though. <clears throat> Thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference settings. You have to like what we're seeing from Goran Dragic. How about the opening half of basketball? He played so much riding on this game. And he came out and took immediate control. And that's part of what makes him special. In big games, he lays it all out there. He wants to be the one to win it or lose it for him. On the perimeter, Wade and Dang. Right side is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Dragic in at the one spot. So that's who Eric Spolster starts the second half with. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. And Wade drops them both. That moment when D. Wade missed that free throw at home here and then Ray Allen hit that three-pointer, though. You remember that? Yeah. Heat fans don't like to remember that. Here's Ariza. There it is. It's Thank, picking up the assist. Thank you, Trevor Ariza. What up? Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? They never show us any respect. We're the Chicago Bulls. Wade gets the drug. Nash comes with the double team. Wade passes the deck. There's the pick. Just five on the clock. The Heat need to get a shot off. Where you at, Lowell Dang? Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. They've been strong on the board. Yeah, you got no blocked by freaking Nash. Steve Nash. How you feel? Woo! Hey yo. Jimmy Butler Takes feeling it? Takes a three. Rebound long. No, he's not. The Heat trail by four. Dragic dishes to Wade. And that one's good. Fuck you, Dwayne Wade. For this quarter. You dumb looking cockroach. Get your offense going. They're clicking here to start the second half. And Gibson kicks to Nash. Dang against Teresa. Butler on the way. Shoots. Offensive rebound. Gibson passes to Howard, and the shot is good. Howard's got his second basket. You can tell he's in a lot of pain. He'll take a timeout so that trainer can help him out. The Heat making a switch here. Nick Roberts is checked in. Miritich is checked in for Chicago. Allen comes in for Steve Nash. Oh, is Hassan Whiteside hurt? And out of is Hassan Whiteside hurt? Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Goran Dragic. Chicago leading by four. Allen drives in. Got it. Good job in the low post. Allen's got five. For Miami, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming on the locker with the break. Chalmers dishes to Wade. He feeds it to Dang. Unloads from 13. A basket good off the assist from Wade. And that's now I want to keep trading baskets, game. though. We're fine Chicago with that. Since coming out of the break. Allen kicks to Butler. Allen against Wade. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way. Yes, Ray. Yes. Two right here. Bulls have gone two yes, Ray. But we like. And Allen drops them both. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Wade outside. Dang up top. Love with the screen on Ariza. Chalmers passed to Dang. Six on the shot clock. Count the basket and the foul. That one is on Ariza. That's terrible. Job there to absorb the contact and terrible call. In. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. And the Heat making a change here. Anderson's checked in. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three points. Oh, yeah. You, we the know they can shoot the rock. Butler, he's absolutely deadly from outside. And, of course, Nikola Miritic. Well, when players like them get their feet set behind the arc, it's over. That's what they do. That's who they are. These are excellent three-point shooters, and they've shown it here during the postseason. Reza dishes to Howard. Butler on the way. Fires the three. 
No good. And Miami the other way now. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, I've been impressed with just both teams' energy. Just really working hard on the board. The Bulls leading by three. Allen inside. Defended by Chalmers. Allen shot is off. Wade left side. Out left to the wing. There's the pick. Anderson a screen on Allen. Here's Dang. And Chris Anderson picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Napier, he's checked in for Luol Dang. The Bulls also changing it up. Chris Anderson, you're an ugly ass monkey. Pierce comes in for Trevor Ariza. Has Dunleavy in for Jimmy Butler. Is Miritich. He has five. Let's it go from deep. And again, Chicago. No good. Stolen by good Anderson. passes, Stoudemire. Jesus. Chalmers with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. All sorts of time. And it's Napier missing. The Bulls leading by three. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Kicks it out to Allen. Pass to Miritich. Launches it. And he gets the bucket. Miritic just got eight points. And what jumps out at you guys, the assist totals. I mean, they have been dominant in that category. It's the ball movement, the player movement, a great rhythm to their offense. Clearly seems to me a different mindset between these teams. I'm deep. And no good trying to get that one. All right, fourth quarter. We're going in with a... Let's see, six point lead, I think. I think we got ball, too. Yeah, six point lead. D Way's been playing his ass off, but still. Yeah, it's the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, ser <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. So the Bulls five right now. We've got Pierce. Allen is out there with Nash. Then it's Taj Gibson. And it's Stoudemire in at the five down low. Nash kicks to Allen. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. And that's 10 points for Allen. And those are not the kind of three-point opportunities you can give to shooters in the NBA. These guys are just too good. You're exactly right. It'll burn you every time, just like it's burning them here. Now Pierce. Out to Nash. Allen right side. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Chicago. Ray Allen. What do you think about the hustle stance for Chicago? Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. You know, adding to that, Steve, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Naper kicks to Love. Here's Whiteside. Comes up empty down low. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always going that a boy, to Pierce. maintain your lead. Well, the lead isn't getting any smaller. I mean, this is an incredibly well-rounded performance for this club on the road. You know, that's the thing, Steve. To dominate as they have in front of a hostile crowd, really impressive. Luol Dang has checked in for Miami. Then for the Bulls. Dwight out. He's checked in for Stoudemire. Lisa comes in for Paul. Who is that? And it's Butler in for Ray Allen. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, over that last break, I listened to Eric Spolstra address his team. He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. Look at that they assist. Wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. All right, Doris, thank you very much. And the action on hold, as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough Wait, what was the injury? Yeah, and as many times as you see a card, you, you never like to see a player have to come out of the game with an injury, especially when it's your own teammate. But the other guys just have to step up in the meantime to make up for his absence. Next guy. Oh. 
an even three on three break. Here's Wade. Rogic the pass to Wade. That's in coming off an assist. Oh my from god. Rogic. Wade's got it back down to single digits for Miami. It's a good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. It's Nash with the drive. Howard, and he jams it with authority. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. Well, that's part of what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. Here is McRoberts, the Bulls getting the bucket. On the wing, Dang. Shot clock at six. And it's Wade penetrating. That's good. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting. They're the keeping ball so pace. Far. He can bring them right back into this. The Bulls leading by nine. Moment here now for an injury report. Now let's check in with Doris Burke to see how Kevin Love is doing. Hey guys, I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of Miami about his status. The news is not good at all. It looks like a broken ankle with additional injury to the surrounding connective tissue. That's the kind of injury that will keep him out not just today, but for what could be a lot more games to come, guys. All right, Doris. We will, of course, keep everyone updated as we find out more. Yeah, and we know one thing, Kevin. This guy loves to play, so he's going to do everything. Kevin possible. Love injured. I'm down. Yeah, let's hope it's a speedy recovery for him. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Away. And here's Whiteside. Dwayne Wade on the wing. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Just five to shoot. Dragic with a wide open look. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got three rebounds so far in the game. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. Jimmy That's Butler so picking us up. They have this lead. And what do you so say? Three will go in the record books. Lots of energy out there tonight, and an important win for the Bulls. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort, Kevin. Everybody got involved, and that paid dividends. Depth always a factor in wins like this. And what an incredible game. Out of nowhere it was for Jimmy Butler. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see him being a part of it. He was all over this one. He was all alone on that one. And the Bulls lead by 15. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. And stolen by Howard. The way Howard dribbling it up. Game clock separated by four. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. At the line. And he makes the first. And a new group getting ready for Miami. Chris Anderson has checked in for Whiteside. And this comes in for Lou Aldang. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Napier in for Goran Dragic. Chicago also making some changes. They just Amari can't win here, line. dude. He's checked in for Gibson. Smith comes in for Trevor Ariza. And Dudley subbed in for Bang. Dragic. The crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle on the road, and they clearly wanted to win. You know, they were determined to steal this game, and they showed it, Steve. Played harder and got the job done. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. You know, Clark, every Let's team go. has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dream-like games for a coach. That'll do it for now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in to the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals presented by 2K Sports. Now Jordan presents the player of the game. Jimmy Butler, another Jordan player of the game. Let's go. 3-0 against the Heat. We won 4-0 against the Mets. Anything's possible, I guess. I'm going to look at it this way. What did I do last time in Brooklyn when I was up 3-0? Uh, well, I made uh, the same video. I played the Heat. Well, guess what? We're going to do it here, too. Let's eat Chicago. And now, presented by Sprite.
the 2K pregame show. Let's go. I'm ready to eat right here. I got the attitude. Let's go. No Kevin Love. I'm down. This is Kevin Arlen here with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. We'll see the Miami Heat defending home turf in the Eastern Conference. The story here, Kevin Love injured and unable to play. Kevin, his injury is going to cost him a few games, and in the playoffs, that could be devastating. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Not if they're not in the playoffs after this game. Jimmy Butler is out there with Nash. Then there's Howard. And it's a reason. In at the small forward. Wade kicks to McRoberts. No way. And a miss there on the triple. On defense, they, they want to put some distance between them and the loss on Monday. And that night, guys, they didn't resemble the team we're used to seeing, either as individuals or as a unit. Steve, I thought there was really a lack of leadership. Nobody really gathered the team and tried to rally them. And sometimes you have to do that with your body language and your voice. To me, that was the most disappointing thing about the loss. A little over a minute that was on wow. In the first quarter. That was just. Guys are I, I don't even think I can speak yeah, after that deep three. Stretch offensively, they desperately need a basket. And it's Dragic off the drive, a stupendous finish in track. You know the height difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself. But Roberts, where's that D though? You ain't no Kevin Love. Clark, no one in his airspace on that dunk. Yeah, but come on, Kevin. The defense can't let that happen. <laughs> I hope they let it happen more. It's fun to watch that guy fly. <laughs> Just a gift. Two points they gave up. That's awful. Here's Wade after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Lock at six. The dish to McRoberts. Back to Dragic. 13 feet away. And that one hits back iron. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Butler against Dragic. And Howard, here we go. Over to the left wing. Here's Ariza. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Ariza's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Heat have gone just one of four to get this game started. Rogic against Nash. Rogic the pass to Whiteside. The timely. If he had missed that, I swear to God, that would have been terrible. That would have been so bad, dude. Nash kicks to Howard. Ariza outside. He feeds it to Butler. Whiteside, Butler. Right through the D for the layup. Butler's got five points so far. Here's Wade. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Pass to McRoberts. He kicks it to Dang. Dishes to Dragic. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooter. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. You look at Butler. He's absolutely deadly from outside. And, of course, Nikola Mirotic. Well, guys, the bright lights of these playoffs seems to have brought out the best in these guys. I mean, their three-point shooting has been spectacular. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Chris Anderson has checked in for Whiteside. Chalmers comes in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Napier in for Goran Dragic. Now here's Dang. And the layup's good off the glass. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. Allen kicks to Pierce. Pass to Miritich. Three-pointer. And the rebound. He was wide Johnson. open. Why can't you finish that? Here's Dang. 
And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now. I don't think I'll make both of these, though. First trip to the line tonight. Free throw good. Oh, all right. Okay, Lamal Dang. Checked in for Miami. Stoudemire's checked in for the Bulls. Hundley becomes in for Jimmy Butler. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Stolen by Chalmers. Chalmers, who do you think you're messing with? This is the all-time great Ray Allen. And he hits it to tie the game over up. all three of us. Yes, Boy, thank nice you. Good inside. job. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve. Uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. For three, Dunleavy, and he gets it to go. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Now here's Dang. Left side, Anderson. Aslam, the pass to Napier. Dang gets a wide open look. Here's Napier. And Dang, here we go. Here's Chalmers. No good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Unleavy kicks to Allen. Off target from outside. Ray Allen missing the three. That's uncharacteristic. With the defender right in his space. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. Takes it off the glass. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Now Dunleavy. Here's Miritich. Misses the three. They're giving us a run for our money, which I don't like. Contested game so far. Bulls lead by one. And we welcome you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Chicago. Well, they've definitely had the hot hand from the three-point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Smith is out there with Stoudemire. Then there's Dunleavy. Then it's Allen. And it's Miritich in at the three. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. Wow. And when you're doing the job, they are inside. It nice takes pass. Off the perimeter guy. Boy, nice. Pretty, pretty pass the there, dude. Like, for real. That again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Allen kicks to Dunleavy. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Dunleavy's got his second bucket of the night. Textbook right there. Nice pass. Great catch. Beautiful finish. Napier passes to Wade. Miracic grabs the miss. Chicago has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Stoudemire, here we go. Miami grabs the miss. Textbook defending there. He didn't give him an inch of space to get that shot off. Yeah, great footwork and terrific positioning, Clark. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Miritich's shot is off. The Heat with the lead. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Naper kicks to Wade. Mike Dudley is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Josh McRoberts has checked in for Udonis Haslam. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Stoudemire. Gibson comes in for Miritich. Butler, he's checked in for Dunley. Nash is subbed in for Ray Allen. And Nash, here we go. And again, Miami running the court in transition. Butler with the block. They recover it. Bulls have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Shoots. And so he draws the oh. foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Chicago. And so Butler nails both of them. He'd have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Way to screen on Nash. 
from 11 feet away. The kick out to Dragic. Miami no good on that time either. Boy, they're fortunate. Defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Ariza outside. Butler with the ball. Nick Roberts there. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by Dragic. Buried from 15 feet out. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. You know, he understandably doesn't... I'm going to run away with it here. On out there, ...and that's why he wants to talk things over during this timeout. I think this is a good time to call a timeout. They just need to hit pause for a second and then reset as well. Chris Anderson has checked in for Miami. Chalmers comes in for Nate. Nick Roberts dishes to Dragic. There's a good screen. Shot clock at five. And stolen by Butler. In transition, here come the Bulls. A finish. And it's slammed in by Ariza. That's how you make an impact with defense. And once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. The floor is open. Take care of business. Yeah, that's right. So you push it. That's the best opportunity for points on the break. This lead, I think, is headed north. There's Dragic with the three. They need this one, and it will go. Screw you, Chris Anderson, you freaking ugly ass. Oh, he's so ugly, dude, but he, like, his, his tattoos really make me want to cry. Literally. Well, he's making a switch here. Deng's checked in, and Chicago also making a switch. Pierce is checked in. Butler up top. He's guarded by Dragic. Shot from 12, and he nails the jumper. And that's 11 points for Butler. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots and typically good things happen. Outside Dang. Outside Dang. Elbow shot is on the way. Nick Roberts slams it back in. Was there any doubt? Oh my God. Cut your ball? hair, dude. You're down. ugly. Oh, You're ugly. Right there. Uh, that's the kind of feed, you feed Taj Gibson. The glass. That's the only way to get it done. Outside Pierce. There's the pass to Butler. Over to the wing. 16 feet away. And it goes. And How you feel, goes. Josh McRoberts? He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. Twitch you got for dunking the ball. There's 38 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Chalmers. And Gibson sends it back. Butler goes in. Nice D from Dan. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. And Gibson with the block. And he's able to get it back. And McRoberts kicks to Dang. There's a good screen. The feed to Dragic. Anderson is screen on Pierce. Over in the corner, Chalmers. And it's going to be out of nice bounds. Nice dude. The take. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Just four seconds left in the first half. That's a two from Butler. Oh, and he just knocked out. The clock runs out, and we're heading. So this is what I predict. Either us or Cleveland in the finals and the Trailblazers in the finals. That's what I predict. And thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Semis. You look at Jimmy Butler, he's really been playing well. Well, in terms of his points in the first half, I mean, that's pretty much what we've come to expect out of him. Yeah, that's an open book on all you need to know about what talent he has. I'll bet he adds a lot more to that tally in the second half. Dang and McRoberts holding down the forward spots. Dragic is out there with Dwayne Wade. And it's Whiteside and at the center locking down the middle. That's the group in the game for the Heat. The Heat trail by six. Wade a screen on Gibson. Dragic kicks to Dang. Back to Dragic. Clock at four. Outside Dang. 
And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got three assists now in this one. The Bulls leading by three. Ariza goes in. Good on the 13-footer. Ariza's got seven points. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Dragic with it, and play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Thank you, Ruff. I love it when Whiteside commits illegal screens. Ah, Hassan Whiteside, he's so not cute. And of course, Jimmy Butler, he's in that same group. Boy, they have been extremely hot, both these guys, and great timing on their part. The playoffs, that's when you want to bring it. Bulls making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Now a timeout called by Miami. Right around a minute and a half, played here in the third quarter. Dragic left side, back to Dang. Right side, Dang. Shot clock at six. Nick Roberts. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. No, sir. That's a bad call. Josh McRoberts, he's a faggot. But you know what's going to happen. They sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. And Butler, here we go. Nobody near Allen. Gets the three-pointer to fall. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that's how you might not. He had to take that's it. terrible. Wait outside. Here's Whiteside and blocked. Now here's Allen. It's Ariza on the wing. Wide right hits off the rim. Well, as far as jump shots go, that's as high percentage as it gets. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. Me neither. Wade passes to Dragic. Miami no good on that time either. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he has gone ice cold. I should have dunked that. And he shows us he knows how to finish with a flourish. The Heat trail by 11. Wade outside. He dishes it to Dragic. Feeds it to Dang. Back to Dragic. Looking to end his cold spell. He lays it in. Dragic has got six. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. A different look for Miami. Anderson, he's checked in for Whiteside. And it's Napier in for Goran Dragic. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Amari Stoudemire is checked in for Howard. Smith comes in for Taj. Oh, Hansen. wow. Cherry Smith pick? Is checked in for cherry Robert pick. Reason. Oh, my God. That's terrible. For Jimmy Screw you, Napier. You want a cherry pick? They sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Stolen by Anderson. Screw you, Chris Anderson. I'm Chris Angel, not Chris Anderson. I'm like a magician with these hands. And it's Wade penetrating. That's good. Now just a five point. Oh, they about to heat up. They about to heat up. Oh, what up? They about to heat up. Fallback option for them anytime they need it. Here's Miritich. And again. Oh, they really about to heat up been very close in a lot of areas but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate yeah they've chased down that pumpkin often catching up on the changes with Miami Udonis Hassel who's checked in for Josh McRoberts and it's Chalmers in for Luol Dang Here's oh no Dang's home the trifecta oh gee but the success they've been having from the three-point line since halftime I'll bet you that scoreboard starts to look a lot different real soon. Of course, they have to stay hot. But if they do, I think you're right, Clark. Particularly if they can convert defense into offense. Here's Miritich. Another shot. Here's Stoudemire. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 
Stoudemire's got his first basket of the night. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it, and I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Haslam, that's good. Well, they found the touch here in the second half of the field. Udonis, the ugly Everything ass Haslam. Talk about folks, rebounding, defense, all of that. This game is still about making shots. You got to put the ball in the basket. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. He still hasn't been able to convert from the field. He's just struggling to find the shot. The Heat have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. Dunleavy dishes to Pierce. From deep three-point range, shot is off. I don't mind that shot, though. He's an excellent three-point shooter. He's just showing a lot of confidence there. I'm right with you there, Steve. I mean, All right. We got to take it in the fourth. We got to take it to him. Let's go. Come on. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Well, this is what you talk about when you have the offensive play coming together based on tremendous passing. It's the rhythm and flow that occurs that makes this a beautiful game. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Pierce is out there with Miritich. Then it's Stoudemire. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Nash. Oh, D. Oh, D. Wade kicks the drive. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for oh. two. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Bulls. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Josh McRoberts comes in for Udonis Hazard. And it's Dang in for Dwayne Wade. And there's Miritich. Thank you, Miritich. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. Nash against Dragic. Kicks it to McRoberts. Right side, Dang. The good looking shot from the wing. Oh, he found the open man on the perimeter and got the ball to him. Chicago leading. Nash, the pass to Butler. Butler missing again. Jimmy Butler, I need you to heat up. 47%, pretty solid. Dragic against Nash. No good from Dragic. Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Stoudemire kicks to Butler. Unloads from nine. That's good. And the Bulls lead by four. You know, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. And the Heat call time here. The short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And refocus, Kevin. You got to take care of your body. And I think we ought to drink some Gatorade here, too. I thought I noticed some slip ups here the last yeah. uh, <laughs> couple minutes from, from your end on the play by play. <laughs> Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Eric Spolstra address his team. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. Guys, we'll see if they got the message. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got five assists tonight. They've stepped up their three-point shooting game in the second half. They're letting it fly out there with reckless abandon. Now they're feeling confident, and they're in a good flow offensively, so why not just keep firing from out there? Rogic dishes to Whiteside. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got five rebounds tonight. It's Ariza on the wing. It's stolen by Dragic. Looking to end his cold spell. Butler with the steal. One fifty-five 
52 left in the game. The Heat trail by seven. Outside Dragic. Chalmers against Butler. And Chalmers kicks to Dang. Five to shoot. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Chicago leading by seven. Nash the pass to a reason. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. The kick outside to Butler. Passes it to Nash. Back to Butler. Let's it go with a three. Butler missing again. I'll tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, you can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Scooped up. Right side. It falls. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. He is not going to stop battling until that final whistle blows. What a putback. Nash dishes to a reason. Nice D from Dang. It's far too tentative in the paint. Even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Miami. And I mean to play good D against here. Wade. They're trailing by five. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? They need to get a quick bucket here. If there's more than 24 seconds left afterward, they can try for a stop. If there's less... Steve, what a big possession right here. No doubt, guys. You can feel the tension in this building. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. And the oh, no. Two, no good. Heartbreak. He's able to hit the second yes. one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brought them to within two points. Oh, D. No doubt about it. Wade has found the touch right now. And an intentional foul right there. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management crucial. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four point ball game. And I'll tell you what, those two free throws give them some much needed breathing room, guys. It's now a two possession game. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's it fly from 18. Ariza with the rebound. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Dang kicks to Dragic. The dish to McRoberts from downtown. No good. The Chicago Bulls will move on. Let's go. We win. Miami's bad. Jimmy Butler is going to get another Jordan player of the game. And guess what? Your boy wants to re-sign Jimmy Butler because he just loves him. He just loves him. Jimmy Butler. Come on. So guess what? Your boy advances. How you like them apples? Don't like it. You can take that attitude elsewhere, buddy. I don't need you to respect me if you don't want to. So let's see. Let's watch and see who, who gets the win over here. Wow, big surprise there. And then this is a big surprise here. Wow. Shot. So we're one step away. We're so close. We can feel it. And we've gone 4-0 against both of the previous teams we've played. Can we go 4-0 against the Cavs? Can we make the leap to the NBA Finals, the championship, the trophy? Can we hoist it in Chicago for the first time since the Jordan era? Find out next episode when we play Cleveland first, uh, first, uh, first game in Cleveland, Ohio, when we come back.